Hi, I'm Brian Davis from Seven Springs Mountain Resort Snow Sports School, and I'm here today to tell you how ski bindings work. For this, you're going to need some ski bindings, and they'll probably be attached to a set of skis. In this case, we have a Dina Star ski with a look binding. And you can see that the binding has a little gauge here on the top, and there's another gauge back here on the bottom, on the heel piece, indicating the DIN setting for the bindings. That's probably the most important thing you need to know about adjustments on ski bindings. You should make sure your shop tests the DIN setting and it's appropriately set for your skiing ability. If you're an aggressive skier out skiing moguls and racing gates, you may want to have a higher DIN setting. If you're a brand new skier that's out just learning and likely to maybe fall over and twist your leg and have the ski want to pop off your foot instead of tearing your ACL or twisting your knee, you might want to choose a lower setting. Each manufacturer has a specific setting chart for their bindings and it would be very wise to consult that chart and not exceed the specifications of that chart for a specific binding. Bindings also have brakes and Older bindings didn't have this braking mechanism. They used to have a string you would wrap around your feet. For many, many years now, they've had a braking mechanism. And this uh, helps you abide by one of the rules of the safety and uh, responsibility code for skiing. It is a device to prevent runaway equipment. When you step into the binding, you'll mash this brake release plate down and the brake will unengage from the surface of the snow. Should the binding pop off your foot, letting the ski release, it will stop the ski from running down the hill without you. These bindings also have an adjustment for the length of the sole of the boot. These are actually demo bindings and they're very easy to adjust by simply changing the lever and moving that up and down. But most bindings today come with a mounting mechanism that's built into a ski. I maybe should say many. Some skis still require drilling to mount bindings, but many, many manufacturers offer a mounting plate built into the ski to which the binding attaches. And it's relatively easy to adjust for different size boots or different sole lengths. In order to step into a binding when you're out on the snow, you'll put your toe into the binding centered in the, in the tip or the toe piece. You'll center the heel, and you'll step down very hard to snap the back of the binding in place. Once you have your foot in the binding, to get out of the binding, you're going to release the heel piece. As you step down, the heel piece lever will flip up. This particular one goes up very high, some not quite as much. But to get out of the binding, you're going to push down on the heel piece lever and take the boot out the opposite of what you put it in. Heel out first, then the toe. And that's how ski bindings work.